welcome back to my channel this is Contessa Mary and this video I am going to show you how to make a real carbonara without using cream guys this is very interesting because I will tell you also where the carbonara came from and who is the first chef who made the carbonara and why it was born the carbonara pasta coming up as for the circumstances of the birth of this dish it is plausible that the ability of the u.s military rations in the immediate post-war period provided the decisive impetus for the construction of the recipe okay the combination of the typical american egg and bacon taste with pasta top with cheese made it immediately successful on both sides of the atlantic ocean but to whom do we owe this invention the hypotheses are different but the story never denied by renato gualandi prevails over all this young chef of Bolognese origin was hired on 22 September 1944 to prepare a lunch on the occasion of the meeting between the British 8th Army and the American 5th Army in the newly liberated region. Okay, making a virtue out of necessity, he unwittingly created a dish destined to become famous all over the world. Okay, so the American had fantastic bacon, delicious milk, cream, cheese, and egg yolk powder. He put it all together and served this pasta to the generals and the officers for dinner. At the last moment, he decided to put some black pepper, which gave off an excellent flavor. So he cooked them enough babuzetti and they were conquered by the pasta. So subsequently, Gualandi became cook of the Allied troops in Rome from September 44 to April 45. And this period was enough to spread the fame of carbonara in the capital. Obviously, the story of the carbonara invented in Riccioni in 1944 by a Bolognese cook using the ration of the American army can generate some perplexity in the purest, sometimes authentic Taliban without historical justification of the Roman tradition. But this does not make the matter less truthful or plausible. Instead, we like to think that this, that is the result of the great all Italian ability of culinary improvisation that created a masterpiece in one of the most difficult moments in its history. So, guys, the real carbonara is from the, what you call that, the chef from Bologna. Okay, so, so many, so many hair say that carbonara is from Rome yeah because uh, I think it's uh, came from Rome because the chef Bolognese you no know, the the chef that uh, came from Bologna was hired and cooked in Rome so that's why carbonara is from the Rome region so guys the chef make the carbonara because american has a lot of bacon and creamy milk and cheese but the real carbonara guys as i know as i seen all over the italian chef most of them didn't put cream so never put a cream on your carbonara because every time you put cream on your carbonara you kill the history of the real carbonara guys okay Tonight, i am going to cook a dinner for my kids i will make carbonara the real carbonara so i will show you step by step 
what I'm going to do tonight. Okay, guys? So, here we go. You know guys, the best way to eat together with some protein in food so that your red wine will become more, 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 more tasty. So before I eat, uh, no, before I drink this, I already eat the... Mmm... Mm. That's why I love staying in the kitchen, guys. Because this is Barbera, Barbera Dalba, and it tastes good, guys. Mm. I will use my cone number one. I will grate my cheese. Okay. So, we have to grate a lot of cheese. This is pecorino cheese. So I have to taste, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Delicioso, very delicioso, very tasty. That's why I prefer pecorino than uh, parmigiano, guys. Okay, so okay. We have our cheese, grated cheese here. So let's remove. So what we're going to do now is I prefer. So I have half kilo of uh, let's call that half kilo of uh, pasta, but I love a lot. A lot of uh, cream. I will add uh, another two. And as you notice, I use all of the egg, okay? Because you know the traditional way of cooking the carbonara in the antique many many years ago, they don't throw away anything so they reserve everything so they often use everything so we are going to to use all of that egg white and egg yolk so the whole egg okay so as our water is um, already boiling you can see I am using a very, very, very big uh, pot because I want my pasta to cook very, very nicely inside, okay? So... We need to put a rock sugar, uh, a rock salt. A handful of rock salt, let's put it there. Okay. And let's cover it. Guys, I am going to cook our. We have salt here. I am going to cook our guanciale. So, in my pan, 
I will put already. I will put this gone, shall we? I will cook it very slowly. Okay, very slowly. And then break some. Oil. And mm, you can smell the very the aroma of the herbs, guys. And I found it very, very, very big, so I need to cut it. So where's my knife? So I don't put anything here. Just um, the one challenge. Okay, let's cook it slowly and very low heat. And then for the main one, guys, I am going to um, to mix this uh, egg. So with my fork, two forks, I will you can see and I will add I will add the egg here in my cheese. You know, in the kitchen, I always, always taste everything that I cook because I want to serve it better and the taste it better. So I always taste it. That's why, as you can see, I'm not that very sexy, you know, because I love eating. And you see this big, so I need to cut this. In a very low heat, I am toasting my guanciale, okay? I did not use any oil because our guanciale is very fatty. So, just like that. You know guys, the real carbonara is made of guanciale or bacon, okay? Do not use any sausages because I've seen some videos that we use sausage. Maybe uh, because uh, one chali is not. Yeah. Mm. Pancetta, bacon. Okay, as you can see, it's already toasted. Yeah. And let's set it aside. And let's put it aside and... Ah, we have 500 grams of pasta. And as you notice guys, I will not break this pasta, okay? 
So shout out to all the girls that break their pasta before they cook. It's a no, 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 no. You never broke the spaghetti, okay? Because... Uh, so I will put my spaghetti just like that. So... you can see why I use a very big pad because I want that my spaghetti well well drawn and so here in our pocket in our um, pack it says at 11 minutes it will cook al dente okay guys please do not overcook your pasta because if you overcook your pasta it will you know uh, i don't like uh pasta overcooked pasta i like uh pasta al dente so 11 minutes from now so we have to check our timer 11 minutes we check that okay so in uh, 10 minutes, I will check it. see it's creamier it's creamier already so guys there's no need to put cream in this to make your carbonara creamy okay um many chefs put cream because uh, carbonara is made and right, right away you serve it and eat because if you don't uh, serve it right away and eat the pasta will stuck together so they will stick with each other so to avoid that sticking with each other many chefs or people no cream remember no cream please don't put cream on your carbonara because uh, it's not the real carbonara okay but if you like putting on cream so it's up to you but the real carbonara i'm showing you is this no cream carbonara and uh, as you see as you can see i use one challenge instead of uh, pancetta bacon okay so let us check our pasta
with water. I will add here in my cream. You can see. And for the manure. Add a little bit of water, guys, in your pasta so that it won't stick and then mix. Let's add some water. Okay, guys, the water is there. What we're going to do now, guys, is we have to turn off our. So you can see that it's already. And then, guys, after we uh, we turn off our stove, we have to put our cream on our pasta and mix it well for a second mix it well together and then let's put it back again on top of the stove for a couple of minutes until our sauce will become creamier Look at that guys, it's creamier. So look at our carbonara guys. And we have to turn off totally and then we add pepper. Look at the cream guys, look at that, it's very creamy. Look at that, the cream. You can see that. And here is our carbonara. You can see it's creamy without using panna. Look at that. And now, guys, it's time to taste our. Carbonara. Here is our carbonara, guys. Look at that. It's time to taste. Look at that, guys. Mm. Mm.
guys veramente buona very delicious yes it's like you're making you know it's very i don't know how to explain it's very delicious really So guys, if you love eating pasta, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I am going to teach you on how to make fresh pasta in the future, okay? So if you like my video guys, click the bell button and click all to see my more videos in the future. Our dinner is ready. And I'm going to serve my kids for our dinner with our real carbonara. Please, if you don't want to kill an Italian tradition, don't put cream on your carbonara. Okay, cheers guys and see you for the next video.